This podcast is brought to you by healthrangerstore.com. Lab tested clean foods and supplements for immune function, long term storage, and survival applications. Every purchase helps fund this free speech video platform. Thank you for your support. It's hilarious how the media is celebrating Joe Biden's announcement that he will make it mandatory for people to wear masks. You know, the, I mean, the media loves it when there's another tyrant that promises to force you to do something against your will, whether or not you want to do it. And making everybody wear a mask is the kind of tyranny that, of course, leads to making everybody get a vaccine that maybe they don't want either. But this is the way Democrats operate. It's all about forcing everybody to do everything. This is the way communist China operates. They force you to be locked down. They weld the door shut to your apartment building. Heck, they burn people alive in China who had the disease just to eradicate it, not have another person testing positive. But the Democrats think they own your body, you know, except when it comes to abortion. That's when they say, oh, my body, my choice. But with any other choice other than killing your baby, they say, no, your body isn't your choice. It's not even your body. It's, it's the government's body. And the government is saying, your body, our choice. You know, your body, Biden's choice is essentially what they're saying. And that's, I'm sorry, that's not freedom. That's not human dignity. That's not human rights. That's not pro-choice. I thought all these Democrats were supposed to be pro-choice. Your body, your choice. Now it's uh, your face, our mandate. They're going to slap something over your face. And, and by the way, you know, I've been very public about this. I support the wearing of masks when it's voluntary. I'm not one of these independent conservative media publishers, and there are a lot of them who have just abandoned all science and medicine, and they now say that masks don't even work and that masks are killing everybody. You know, they, they, this, this anti-mask hysteria reminds me of the, uh, the noose hysteria of the left, where People see nooses everywhere that aren't even there, you know, like a garage pull down strap. It, suddenly it's a noose. But there's an anti mask hysteria among conservative publishers that I find really just bizarre. Masks work, which is why surgeons wear them during surgery to avoid contaminating the patient with the germs from the mouth of the doctor. Masks work, they keep the germs in the face of the person who has the germs. So masks do work, but it doesn't mean they should be made mandatory. Making them mandatory is tyranny. Yeah, I mean, if Joe Biden wants to make us wear masks, can we make him wear adult diapers? I mean, he's a senile, demented old fool. I bet he's got, you know, problems, other incontinence problems or whatever. Can we make him wear diapers? Can, can, can we? How about this? How about we make every U.S. senator wear a full-time body camera? You know how... The left wants to make police wear body cameras, which is probably not a bad idea. But why don't we make lawmakers wear body cameras and then they have to upload their videos so the public can see them. So all their entire lives, everything must be recorded so that we can see all the dinners they go to, all the fundraisers, all the conversations. After all, they're supposed to represent the people. Why should they operate in secret? Why don't we have lawmakers wear body cameras? Well, Joe Biden would say, oh, that's absurd. You can't make lawmakers wear body cameras. But he's going to say, but we can make you wear a mask whether or not you need one. You see, that's <laughs> that's just tyranny. So I am pro mask in terms of the science of how masks work. But I am, of course, opposed to mask mandates because this gets down to a health freedom issue. We should be able to choose whether we want to wear a mask. And if someone doesn't want to wear a mask, then that's their own risk. That's their own decision. Now, there might be social pressures and businesses can decide if they, for example, want to say no one without a mask can enter our store in the same way that a business can decide uh, we don't want to serve people who are open carrying a pistol, let's say. You see that a lot. Well, they could say we don't want to serve someone who's not wearing a mask. OK, that's their choice. Let the customers decide. Let the free market decide. Maybe they'll lose a lot of customers. Maybe they'll they'll get the message that way who knows but you shouldn't force people to wear a mask what are you going to have mask snitches all over america like the mask ss the the stasi mask enforcement squad or something running around <laughs> like writing down the names of people who didn't wear a mask there's a nation of of joe biden snitches by the way joe biden's not even going to be the the candidate when it comes down to it 
you know he's just a placeholder, right? You know he's a surrogate for Michelle Obama and Hillary Clinton, probably. That's going to be the ticket on election day. It's going to be Michelle Obama for president, Hillary Clinton for vice president, or, some, or maybe the opposite. That's what it's going to be. Joe Biden, he's just a placeholder. He's going to be a drooling lunatic after the debates with Trump. Joe Biden can't win. They know that. He's going to be replaced. Hillary's lining it all up. So it's not even a question of whether Joe Biden supports mandatory masks. It's really a question of, of Hillary Clinton. And when it comes to the tyranny of Hillary Clinton, you know, masks are just the beginning. It's not only that Hillary Clinton would say, oh, you, you have to wear masks. She would say, you have to put on a body bag, too. You have to, you have to be carried away in a body bag if you're a conservative or if you're someone who opposes the, the Clinton deep state. Body bags are coming for you. That's the tyranny of Hillary Clinton. Hillary Clinton would probably seize all conservative websites and shut them down. So it wouldn't be just that you're censored by Facebook and Twitter and Google. Your entire website would probably be shut down. You, could, you have no right to speak, she would say, and she would come seize your guns. So you must wear a mask, but you can't have a gun. But we are going to cut police funding. That's the Hillary Clinton solution for you. Basically, a giant F you to America, collapse your cities, and then just have like a real-time running man game of everybody playing Survivor. See if you can survive you know, with an ice pick in your hand while all the, the criminal drug cartels who are supported by the Clintons have, you know, full capacity AK-47s and rule the cities like warlords. That's what's coming if, if Trump doesn't win. That's, that's the real scenario right there. But stay informed. You know, keep reading naturalnews.com, even though we're blacklisted and censored everywhere. Did you know you can't even share a natural news article on Facebook anymore? It's blacklisted. So you have to go to some other websites that we publish, for example, trump.news or natural.news for the more sort of natural health oriented news items. Check out some of our alternative websites and you might be able to share from there for the moment until they ban all those too. Who knows? It's going to get crazy, but be ready because Joe Biden's going to slap a mask on your face. Probably won't even let you speak. But thank you for listening. This is Mike Adams here, the Health Ranger. Brighteon.com is the website where you can hear more of my podcasts and also check out, of course, naturalnews.com. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching. If you want to support our mission, visit us at healthrangerstore.com for the world's largest selection of lab verified superfood and nutritional products for healthy living. It's at healthrangerstore.com.